welcome. Unfortunately, today sucked. We weren't very busy today because people don't like renting dumpsters when it's raining. And guess what? The bills don't stop coming. But to save the day, bam, Tosco pizza. Tosco's has the best pizza in town. And while well, I'm telling you, man, I could eat this whole pizza myself. So I'm like gonna save the day or save my, my sanity for today. I'm gonna go inside, do some paperwork and eat some pizza. So back here at the office and um, had a pretty good day today. Left the office about six hours ago, having a little bit of a late lunch. And here's what happened throughout the day. Yo, what's up guys? So it is Thursday morning and it's been a while. Well, it's, they said it wasn't gonna rain in 10 days and well, it's raining. It's Eastern Pennsylvania, and I feel like I live in the Amazon rainforest. So, I'm gonna go out, do a few picks today. Um, chill out, it's a little, what is it? It's 44 degrees outside, so it's not so cold. But, um, but it is raining. I gotta answer that phone. All right, so I had to answer the phone with my handy dandy Bluetooth, uh, Blue Tiger Elite. Um, yeah, it's raining today, it wasn't supposed to rain. And just to be quite frank with you, I hate the raid because then you got a tarp in the rain. I don't have an auto tarper on this truck. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you guys today is the capabilities of these trucks or this particular hook truck, this cab over in a city environment. Um, if you can, Andrew, take a, take a shot at the over there to the left of these cars and you can see just how I could come into these roads and hopefully I could get this can out of here today. This is gonna be a, a tight one. I think we're gonna be able to do it though. If not, it is what it is. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna get this out today, you watch. Not gonna be the easiest one we ever got out, but we're gonna get it out. There you go. Not too bad. And we'll get that hook down. And as I'm backing up on it, you just lift that. You just place that hook where you want it. Put it right in the right in the old heavy duty eye of the eye of the dumpster and there's a little bit got a little bit of weight behind it here everything look good Andrew I'm not dragging anything I hope so that will come out the same way we came in I'll come out make a right hand turn out of here we'll be on our way what I'll do is I couldn't really tarp it here all I'll do is I'll go up the street and I'll, I'll throw a tarp on it there you go guys this is how, then I'm gonna show you how to get out of a city environment hopefully I might have to move those scaffoldings this is gonna be tight guys. this is a this is like the this is like a really tight So I know I was kind of like explaining what was happening as I was doing it, but I can't express enough um, how awesome it is to have the cab over truck. The, um, the, the cab over with the, with the axle behind you, I mean, you could get in places that you could never even fathom getting into with a, with a conventional ca um, chassis truck. It's pretty awesome to have that capability because when you're driving up with these, uh, you know, to some of these, jobs and you're not sure exactly what you're going to run into you know you have a lot of uh, um, latitude on what you can and can't pick up out of there you know that if, if i would have had the conventional truck that would have been a no pick and i would have wasted another 45 minutes going to another job so the flexibility of a 
of the cab over is just tremendous. I can't express enough um, the capabilities of the truck as far as now the there is a drawback to the truck is that the weight capability of it is not in line with the with the other trucks um, this particular cab over now in Europe they have the, the Scania's and the um, some of the other European models that I'm not that familiar with um, they're awesome looking trucks I wish they made them for the US market but they don't um, th this is the heaviest duty cab over truck they make right now is the is the P220 so that was a pretty that was pretty nice so um, there you go man and we picked up the first dumpster and it was completely pinned in. I didn't even think I was going to be able to get into the dumpster with the, with the Pete 220. Um, if I would have had the Pete 348 or a full size truck, I call it a full size because the cab over, I call it the, the, uh, the tight area truck. We never would have got that out. That would have been a no pick whatsoever. So that saved me an hour in the day having that small truck. Um, got that in and out and or sorry got it out got in and got it out and we were able to take it to the dump after we um after we got that dropped off then we were able to take it to the dump and then we took it over to the next delivery here at our drop for the day get the slide the jib back and we'll gingerly place this right where we want it Raining, more rain, more rain. Rain, go away. I hate when it rains. It's slow, it's sloppy, muddy. Nobody likes the rain in this business. Man, it should be good. Now, usually they set me up with the tight deliveries and pickups because I have the smaller truck. That was pretty tight too. We had to get through a small gate and then we were able to drop that off and that was pretty tight. He wanted it right next to a, um, an older car. It had antique tags on it actually. I think it was a 1981 with like 5,000 miles on it. It was a pretty cool car. Um, so we were able to get that in and that worked out real well because I had the smaller truck. I had about a foot on either side to spare. So here we are, the end of the day, got a few deliveries out and everything went well. No fuss, no muss. Truck work, truck performed well. Those small trucks, I'll tell you what, they sure do save a lot of time when space is, is at a premium. Um, I can't speak highly enough of these small trucks. The P220 is just, I'm gonna miss it when I get into a bigger truck. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'll see you later.